Okay, guys, so we're going to be doing some Red Star pulls here today for Echo of the Young Avengers. I have a lot of effing Red Star orbs. The question is, how far do I want to go with her for Red Star pulls? I'm not sure because she is going to be an event store camp, uh, uh, an event store milestone unlock, milestone event store, whatever. <laughs> and the last character to have one of those was Magic. And Magic, unfortunately, was only, what, 150 shards? So not even a 4-star unlock free to play. Um, she is a 100-shard unlock, just like Magic was. I'm pretty sure Magic was 100 shards. Um, so Echo is also 100 shards, a 3-star unlock. And that means to me that if they're not more generous than what Magic's event was, we may not even see a free to play 4-star Echo. So in terms of where I want to get her for my red stars, I'm not really sure, necessarily. So... We're going to pull a couple of Elite Forces to start. I don't think I'm going to be pulling any Elite Fives. That's not on the cards for Echo. I may do that for Kate Bishop because I do feel the Kate Bishop might be a little bit more valuable outside of War Mode than Echo. I don't think Echo is going to be a very good character outside of War Defense. I, I think that, unfortunately, her kit just does not look widely usable in my opinion. If you saw my stat videos for the Young Avengers, she's, she's very much a glass cannon. Uh, but what she brings to the table isn't super great, and her speed bar is pretty slow. Again, a lot of her stuff is, you know, usable within the team. I don't think that she just does enough outside the team to warrant anything. That being said, if you're going big into Young Avengers, uh, then you're going to want... She is the highest damage member of the team, so you're going to want high red stars. Um, but, you know, if, you don't sp if you're not spending, you're probably not getting her very high anyways. So, let's start off with... You guys still have 158 regular orbs, but... Uh, we are going to open some Elite Force and see what happens. Maybe we'll just get lucky and it won't take very long uh, for me to do this. So, let's get this started. And, and for those wondering about Dark Promos, that's not happening. Because A, the new Nowhere Heist uh, the new Nowhere Heist event is going to contain Dark Promos alongside other stuff. We'll be talking about that in a separate video to come, I'm sure, as well. So, let's get this started here with the orbs. Yo-Yo. Well, that's not Echo. Prosthetic leg doesn't no wait no she has a bionic arm right I forget I thought Yo-Yo had had some prosthetics <laughs> not the same four star shocker everything's gonna be a dupe basically five multiple man unfortunately that is also a dupe only got two left red guardian also a dupe. Luck's not on my side today. Or is it? Nope. But what I can do is do this. Now, I don't think that they didn't... I'm pretty sure that they said they weren't planning on upgrading alliance levels anytime soon, I hope. Or Stark Tech. So I'm going to buy some Elite Four credits <laughs> to get me another Elite Four orb. Before I have to go to the regular orbs. Okay. Come on. Big money. Big money. Big money. Well, it was bigger money. But not the character that I wanted. And it was a dupe. Once again. What? Surprise, surprise, surprise. So now I have three Elite Fives. I'm still not willing to pull... I don't... I'll do one. Fine, I'll do I'll do one. I'll do one. Only one. Only one. I'll do it for you guys. Okay. Big money. Big money. Ah, uh, it's not gold. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, eh. 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 I don't know. I mean, like. I guess it's good, but I'm not going to get the 5 yellow. Hell, I can't even get the fucking 4 yellow. You guys heard me complain about Star-Lord T'Challa. Um, it is a good pull. But I won't see it for a while, and that's the problem. Okay, I'm not doing another one, though, so we're going to have to go back to the regular orbs. It was an upgrade and a newer character, so it is a good pull. Not the pull that we were looking for, though. But, you know, hey, it could have been worse. So, let's see. Three... She's in there, right? I didn't even bother to check. 
I should have fucking checked. Right? She is she there? Okay, she's there. <laughs> you never know, right? With this game, you never know. Three, Ironheart. Three, Echo. Okay, we got a th we got a three. I would like a four. It looks like they're still giving us dark credits on the side. And so this really makes me wonder with regards to the Nowhere Heist event. Um, are we ever going to see 10 times dark credits ever again? Or not? And... If we do, then what's the value of that event? Oh, lag, lag, lag! What happened? Oh, Sharon Carter. Shit. I thought it was going to be some good luck lag. Alright. <sighs> I just... Normally, for anyone who's followed my channel for a very long time... I'm usually not interested in spending on a new character unless I get a really good red star pull. You know, like, it has to be worth it for me to spend to get to that extra level, not to unlock early, you know? Like, if it, if that somehow gets me to a 5 a five yellow, for example, you know, I would consider it, but... If I don't have a 5 red to back it up, there's just... It, it, for me, it's not much of a point, in my opinion. Also, she's not really... Standalone, I don't think Echo's gonna do much until... Oh! oh! What the hell? Speak of the devil. Oh my god. What theory is that? What theory is that? Is this the theory where we talk about not spending? Not spend theory? Just just tell the game you're not going to spend money. And then they give you a reason to spend money. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, I'm ecstatic. It was a regular orb. It was a regular orb. What are the odds of that? I'm still recording. What the... What are the odds? 0.25%. But... 15% of 0.25%. Do you know what that is? Let, let, let's do the math. What is the chance that the 6 star is actually Echo? 0.25 times... Oh, wait. Does it work with... No, sorry. Percentage-wise. Uh... Uh, uh, 0.25 divided by 100, because you've got to go backwards. So it's actually 0 0.0025 uh, times uh, 0 0.15 uh, times 100. This is the percentage chance of that happening. 0.0375% chance of a 6 star, and that that 6 star was Echo. Out of a hundred, uh, th those are really low odds. That's like, I don't know, like, one in, uh, one in a lot. <laughs> I don't know, like, one in, one in 2,000, maybe more. You know, that, that's, those are really, wow. Those are not quite lottery winning odds, but it's probably the closest thing to it for me. <sighs> okay, well, we got a six red, so... That means... I think that means we're gonna do it, guys. I think we're gonna do it. I don't normally do it, but Skinny Boston was very, very generous to me today. So I think we're gonna do it. We're gonna we're gonna go for it, because uh, we're gonna open the wallet orb today. I did say that I really wanted to build Young Avengers, so I'm gonna, I guess in this case, uh, put my money where my mouth is, and in this one instance, I don't, I don't open up for Marvel Strike Force very often, almost never actually. Uh, I am going to do it this time around. So, uh, stay tuned for some orb openings after this. Okay. Eight orbs. <laughs> 
if I get a good, if I get a a, a forty plus orb drop, a forty plus shard drop. Oh god, for a war defense character though. Oh god, I, I can't even imagine. I'm sorry, but like anyone who's a devout follower of my channel knows that I'm usually not really big into war, so the thought of it is not very good. Okay. Starting off blue. It's better than green. 10. I know. It was such a good red star drop. Holy crap. Oh. Six. I'm not going to spend. Give me a good drop. Damn it. Didn't work that time. No spend theory. Ah, damn it. <laughs> Masking tape on head theory. Oh! I got a 10! I'm definitely not going to spend! Screw you, Marvel Strike Force! Hey. We're getting somewhere! We're getting somewhere! I'm not gonna buy the other offer today. I'm not buying. <laughs> they didn't like that one. <laughs> um, I'm totally, definitely, never spending on Marvel Strike Force again, even if you paid me to. Uh, oh my God! It worked. It worked, <laughs> sort of. <laughs> ah, ah, I can't believe this game. <laughs> you could buy more actually with chorus though. Where? What am I at? 133. I mean, I think I net plus um 48 would have been the minimum. 48 plus 55. I'm actually up 30 shards. I'm up 30 shards. I'm not quite a four star, but but. Let's do some math on that. So if I wanted to get to five, I'm not getting to six. It's not happening though. Um, I need 47 more for uh, four star. Yeah. So, but let's go with the other way. So 30, 310, that's five star uh, minus 133. So if the event for Echo is a four star achievable event, I will get five star by the end. If it's not, I won't. So... Uh... Magic was 150 shards. If it's like magic, then I'm going to be 27 shards short. Maybe I should buy a couple of corbs. To at least get me to 5 with the event. If nothing else. So 27 was what I said. If magic, if it's the same shards as magic, 150, then I need 27 to get to an ultimate five star goal. Oh my god! What? 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 This was like the, this was like almost half of my offer. This was a thirty dollar. This, this was like a thirty five dollar orb. This one orb was like a thirty five dollar orb. They're telling me, Boylon, Young Avengers, you have to do it. You have to do Young Avengers. That's what they're telling me. Because I've been talking about it for like, fucking Squirrel Girl and all these other characters that I've been bringing up on my videos. What the hell? Do I keep going? Like, what does that even mean? What is it? We're at four star. We're already at four star. What does it mean? Do I do another one? I don't, I'm not going to buy the offer. I don't think I'm going to buy the offer. I'm not going to go to six, but... Am I in no spend theory here? Like, what is going on? Do I need to... Do I gonna get another... Am I done? Is my luck done? Blue! 20! Oh my god, even that's good. 20's good. That's like three orbs worth. What is going on in this orb opening today? First we get a 6 red, and then we get a 60, and then we get a bunch of 20s. 
I, I, I think I got it. Maybe I didn't get a 20 in the previous one. 213 shards. I'll do two more. Because I do want to save some cores. Because you never know. With the events and all that shit. You know, it's good to have a little a cushion there, of course. Blue again! Okay, it's 10, but it's still better than 6. I'm going to do one more. Ah, I think we're done. I, I think we're kind of done. I, I think it's going it's going down. Ah, two hundred and thirty-one shards. Wow. Um, it probably at this point because we know we're gonna get at least a hundred shards, right? She's a one hundred shard unlock. So the event is not gonna give us less than that. And at this point, I'm not getting a six star. Um, so I don't think I need to go any further. Uh, as much as I might want to, there's no point, because mathematically, like, I know that, you know, even with the event, I'll get to 5 star now, I'm not gonna get to 6 star. Like, I would have, to, the event would have to be super generous. The event would have to be really generous, like, like, Lady Deathstrike level de generous, and they haven't done that in a while. <sighs> the math just doesn't add up, because... You need 300, sorry, 510 shards for 6 star. And that's 280 from where I'm at. And I, it, it doesn't seem likely that that's going to be the case. So I'm going to hold off. But that was a really crazy orb opening. Isn't it fucking funny that they do this after I buy the offer? Like, okay, here, you bought the offer... Now you get a 60 a 60 shard pull. What if I did it in reverse? I bet you it wouldn't have happened that way. Give me a somebody give me a tinfoil hat. Mail me a tinfoil hat and I'll wear it every time we do one of these videos. No spend theory. I spent money and then my luck improved. No spend theory. That's the title of the video. That's going to be the title of this orb opening. No spend theory swear to bait people like me into spending who don't normally spend <laughs> to give them something nice and then you're like oh well you know that's how you bait people that you wouldn't normally wow 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 so this echo is by at least by the end of the event is going to be pretty hefty Young Avengers is definitely happening here in this patch for me. Four star. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, I'm going to build her up, gear her up, and then we're going to come back and talk about her. Okay, everyone. So we're back now after spending a million years upgrading Echo because it took a long time for me to click the button because it was lagging. Uh, we did, we basically maxed her out. Not completely, uh, but we are at gear tier 15, level 80. Six, seven, seven, five. Now, unfortunately, we got stuck here on the ISOs here. I was only able to take her to up to greater four. And the reason for this is because I'm at a very, I'm having a crunch on brawler ISOs. I think many of you can, uh, can empathize with this because of web warriors. Also, I've been putting in my brawler ISOs to Miss Marvel and uh, America Chavez, who's also a hero brawler and all that. So all of these Young Avenger characters, a lot of them are uh, brawlers. So unfortunately, on the back of Web Warriors, it's tough, right? It's tough. So actually, and now thinking about this, I'm going to put this last one in because that's, that's an easy item. I'm not obviously going to gear tier 16, uh, but this is the best I can do at this time. The only thing I don't have is the basic. We're going to talk about why I have some of these other ones, though. Uh, so for the passive, I think this is really important. A lot of what you see and what you're going to see with the Young Avengers is her retaliating when uh, she hit, sorry, when they hit the other members. And so this extra 100% damage is quite significant. You guys might know, like, Ghost Spider's retaliation is basically the same. The damage is the same. It's 250%. So having that go from 150 to 250 is quite significant. Also, she's got a damage passive, 15% for herself and Young Avenger allies. So all of this, really important. So that's really actually the first one that you should probably get. Now, because of my big pulls, as you guys know, and I have a fair bit of T4s, I decided to go all in for her ultimate. We're going from a rebound chain, which before was 3 to 4 to four to six that's an extra one to 
one to two max targets so that's quite a bit going from three to four to four to six is quite a bit for the amount of damage that it does 70 percent to the primary target and 50 percent to everyone else really good skill and actually i'm really interested to see how this works in battle properly because of the rebound mechanic it's just like if, or with the rebound mechanic but the turn bar reduction if the target does not have slow reduce that character's speed bar by 25 percent i could see this being really really crazy against infinity watch now I, I don't think that's ever gonna happen because i don't know in what instances you would do this the reason why i mentioned infinity watch was because they spawn with an immunity so technically you probably wouldn't be able to slow them and that way you would just keep rebounding and just reducing their speed bar to nothing and that's kind of why i thought about that but the same thing could happen if you're fighting infinity watch or sorry if somebody's using infinity watch to fight you on the war defense this is probably what's going to happen is that she's going to rebound around and then she's going to do that and just like reduce their speed bar to nothing and i think that this could be quite crippling on turn one especially when you have uh the full team together because that's the only time that it's going to work you're going to need kate bishop to get this available because if you notice that the ability energy is quite low it actually suggests that it's a turn three ability however if you actually have uh, Kate Bishop, she generates energy for the team as well. There's other ways to get this up. So you're going to need, unfortunately, the full team to do that. Uh, now for the special, uh, I kind of just did this because of my red star pulls, to be honest. This was, it looks okay. 90% <laughs> damage, 50% damage to secondary targets and chain to an extra target as well. Uh, or guaranteed chain, rather. Uh, for this, it was kind of like, well, um, it's not the most important. I think the importance is how I listed it. So passive ultimate special and then i haven't done the basic yet uh from what i understand this looks like she's chucking the tonfa so it's kind of like a daredevil uh special where it will chain to other characters across the screen and that's what it looks like there uh where it, it goes it, it can cross gaps because that's why it says here within two spaces of the previous target so pretty sure i saw it in in game before i think it's a chuck and the basic is actually decent i just don't know how often she's going to get to this in terms of like a war defense um you know I, I don't know how frequently she's going to be basicing and so for that reason i haven't quite decided to do it if i decide to you know after we test this honestly i'm not even sure how we're going to test this because this would require somebody else to attack me on my war defense right now i'm not sure what kind of gameplay we're going to end up showing with this if we will at all um we're going to think about something <laughs> but this is something i might consider doing later i do have a decent amount of t4s and that is probably something i'll do at a later time so uh that's echo there uh we're gonna take a pause really quick how i figure out how we're gonna actually test this team out all right everyone so we managed to get two videos for this echo video here one of this is going to be new warriors eternals versus young avengers and infinity watch versus my young avengers and for those of you who probably missed it because i don't think i shared it here was i i managed to set up my young avengers with miles in the interim i don't know how good this is going to be i set america chavez in the middle with echo and miles on the side with miss marvel on the far end and squirrel girl on one of the other far ends now the reason for this is well pretty clear for miss marvel because she's tanking uh i who i wanted the recipients of the speed bar to be echo and really it's going to be kate bishop when she comes out but for the meantime i decided to stick miles in there because i haven't quite high leveled up due to web warriors he's about 150k and so i'm thinking that maybe he's going to get to his alden maybe it's going to do a little bit of damage uh we'll have to find out though but i think when the full team comes together you're going to want to use kate bishop in that place so let's see what happens we can kind of skip through the uh the, the formation of the team here and sorry if the quality is not very good this was filmed on a phone and then uploaded by an alliance member of mine so this is the best we're gonna get because it's war defense i can't punch myself in war defense so unfortunately uh this is what we have to rely on as other people kind of testing it for us in the meantime uh and, you know because there's just not a good way to get footage for war defenses and that's other than you fighting them from someone else you know during war time so here we are we're gonna start it off i kind of just want to see i don't expect big things let's put it that way uh but i just want to see how the turn bars go so america chavez she's stomping her foot she's giving speed bar there i know it's on three times i kind of wish she did it on like two times so we'll have to pause it at certain times so the first person to go is miles with the alt here and it didn't do a ton like a hundred k the eternals have <laughs> defense up so you know it's not going to do much damage there we get the assist though and, and, oh oh yeah because my miles has striker so miles went did the alt 
Miss Marvel followed up with a punch, and then Miles followed up again with a striker move. So there went uh, the the buffs that were there on her. Too bad that didn't hit the Eternals. Maybe he might have been able to strip something. Oh. Uh, that was the Echo special. I think, right? Yeah. Okay, that, that was an Echo special. So if you get Kate Bishop, then she's the one who gives ability energy to the rest of the team. And that allows for... A lot more of the ultimates to go off, because without that, it's very difficult to happen. Now, unfortunately, the Eternals come. And, okay, this is interesting. So, despite having offense up, look at those hit points, though. It's actually fairly impressive, the fact that only one of them went under 50% health. They are very healthy, in general. Their hit points are very high. Um, and this is without this is without room buffs. Think about this with room buffs. Like how much hit points they're going to have. This would be very interesting to, interesting to see. Again, unfortunately I can't attack myself. And then you saw there the squirrel girl got some cool down, sorry, got some speed bar from Echo being low hit points. Echo got some buffs as well. And that heal, I don't know how much that did because it was very fast. 215k without any of the room buffs. Now I want to tell you right now that the room buffs are a lot of extra hit points, like 80% more. 20% health for barracks, 40% for the med bay, and 20% for cargo bay. So this doesn't take any of that into account. So this heal will almost be double that. And this is actually the weaker version of the heal. If you guys remember uh, when we talk about Squirrel Girl, she heals for 15% flat to the team, but an additional 15% if they're less than 50%. So she can hypothetically heal for 30% on her heal. And in war, with the rooms properly, this is going to be a lot more than this. So the fact that, I mean, I was told this was an easy match. Um, you know, I'm actually just happy that they didn't get one shot. <laughs> they didn't get one shot by Icarus. So to me, that tells me that they're fairly healthy. But... Obviously, my Squirrel Girl is really big. That ultimate... It's unavoidable, which is nice. But at the end of the day, you know, with all that deflect, the Icarus special did a shit ton of damage. Now, I, I know that many people don't use the new Warriors and Eternals together. I think that's two separate war offense teams, in my opinion. Uh, often people will use Eternals for one thing and then new Warriors for another. Uh, this is kind of combining two really beefy teams, in my opinion. Uh, a set of characters... So, it's not a huge surprise. Uh, but, you know, this is not the full team. So, carrying on, we're going to go to the next one. This is Infinity Watch versus Young Avengers. I think we kind of have a good idea how this is going to go. Uh, but we're going to play this out anyways. It's a slight punch down as well. Uh, my teams are not maxed out. And for those of you who aren't aware, my Miss Marvel is Gear Tier 14 and my Chavez is Gear Tier 14. Uh, so, we're talking about a hugely meta team, arena meta team, that's going in against these. And they are designed to counter them, but we don't have Kate Bishop. So, just really reiterating the fact that we don't have Kate Bishop. And my Miles is G14 as well. So, it's probably the starts... Oh, no. I, I, I thought, actually, that the start would have played out the same. Looks like Nebula overcame, uh, overcame the speed bar there. And then Miles went. Nebula, Miles, and then Gamora here. So, it looks like they're going straight into Squirrel Girl. Ability block on Squirrel Girl. Uh, that can prove to be a little bit of an issue. <laughs> so, it does make me wonder that when the full team is assembled, uh, what is going to stop Adam Warlock from ability blocking um, Squirrel Girl? Or if, if just in general there's going to be enough survivability, then... Uh, to deal with that, I guess, long longer term. Because keep in mind that as long as America Chavez is alive, there's no drain, but Infinity Watch still hits really hard. So that two-turn ability block is actually now off of Squirrel Girl just because of the amount of turns that she's taking, because of the speed bar. This one seems to be taking longer than the internals combo. There's still... Th oh, then a stun. Boo! Cheater! No, but... <laughs> stun my Squirrel Girl. 
she's gonna try to go for the kill. No, nope. oh, the heal block. Mm. But look how, how do, do you see how much hit points my Squirrel Girl has? Like, she's hanging in there pretty well. Like, she's got a ton. And this is without room buffs. I have to reiterate that this is without room buffs. Like, just think of 80% more HP. Yeah, Miss Marvel's dead. Okay. I'm actually fairly surprised. It's already two minutes in. You know, I think with room buffs, this will this will change. Room buffs will make a significant difference to this matchup, I think. Um, something that you can't really take into account, unfortunately, in war practice mode. So I don't know if that gives you the full picture or not in terms of this team. And this might be something that we'll have to wait and see more of when we actually have to face these teams in real war. So we saw it. Yes, it was a loss. Um, like I said, I wasn't expecting anything fancy. It seemed like Echo did not do as much as I would hope. I honestly think that you're going to need Kate Bishop to really, really just like push the abilities of this team. At least that's what I'm hoping, right? At the end of the day, you know, I I, I don't really know a ton more than you guys other than uh, what we hope to expect, what the devs showed us that we should be getting in terms of this team and what they are able to do. And hopefully that our <laughs> the wool was not pulled over our eyes and the wool's was not necessarily pulled over my eyes. Now, I think that Kate Bishop is going to be uh, the linchpin for this team. You're not going to... Clearly, she's a new character. She has a crazy kit. And you're going to need her on this team. No doubt about it. So, M Miles is really a stopgap at this point. Anyways, that's the Young Avengers. And that's going to be the end of this video. But, hey, I am super, super pleased that I pulled really, really well on my Red Stars and my Orb opening. Today was still a really good day for me and the Young Avengers, and we're going to keep pushing this forward. I know that the gameplay was nothing too impressive. However, maybe I'll have more to share in the near future. So, uh, that's all for me. And until next time, stay safe and healthy, and I'll see y'all later. Boylan signing out.